Welcome back, Game Boxians. It's episode 13 of the $5 Game Box. Welcome back to our continuing quest to build an awesome collection of video games that started with only a $5 investment. No more from me. Everything else comes from what I buy with that initial $5. And we're at a garage sale. <laughs> Took a while. I wish I was filming, but it had been, been like a 20-minute 20, 20 segment. Um... I get to the garage sale, I actually early birded it, because their ad said Xbox, Xbox games, Wii, Wii console, Wii games. Um, I get there, I see the Xbox priced at $80, I'm like, oh, okay, but no games. I'm like, man, maybe I wasn't early burdened enough. The person said, we're sorry we're running a little bit behind, our dog died this morning. <laughs> oh, man, are you kidding so she calls her son, who's these, these, these are his games. He's like at the vet or, you know, taking care of their dead family member. And she, he kind of points her where he put the games. They only had the Xbox stuff priced. They had some PS3 titles, some Xbox One titles, nothing I was interested in. And, you know, all kind of priced high-ish like that. And I wasn't about to start bartering with, like, you know, a grieving family who just lost their longtime pet. So, I actually did. I said, can we just take seven so I don't have to worry about the quarters? <laughs> like, okay. And, um, but I guess the Wii and maybe some PS2 stuff is coming out next week. They're going to do it next Saturday. So, I'll be by here again, and maybe then I'll, I'll start bartering on some PS2 stuff. But that's how we're starting today's episode of the $5 Game Box. This is actually a nice little find, Dirt 3 on the Xbox 360 Complete Edition. I think um, GameStop, for me, still gives 12 credit, not cash anymore, but credit. So I estimate its value around $15 or so, so uh, not bad, not a bad little addition. And we found a couple Dirt games for Xbox 360 this summer. All right, that was our first garage sale of the morning. Um, I'm kind of winging it. I don't have any particular place to go. Like, I don't have a list of I'm going to hit this, this, this. Um, we're going to fly. And this episode, a little later on today, actually, I'm going to take a little road trip and hopefully do some game hunting on that. So, welcome back. Here we go. $5 game box. All right, I'm out here in a little neighborhood sale. Am I overpaying for racing games? Maybe. Let's flip around here. I just spent three dollars at a garage sale up here on a game I didn't have though. I don't think a uh, sled storm in really nice condition. I also spent a dollar. I just watched Shad Juice's latest video. I found this dirty ass trackball Logitech trackball for a dollar, and I did look. And they're going for like 30 to 40 bucks on eBay. Like auctions, buy it nows. So I'm going to clean it up and test it and maybe make a little money. All right. Had a garage sale right there. I see you, Jeremiah. I <laughs> beat him there by a. a 30 seconds <laughs> just barely skin of my teeth I got one two three four eight six ps1 titles for a dollar total they had a quarter each and uh, let's see probably the best couple there's a Spyro Ripto's rage I can never find that in its case I will always find the Spyro games disc only uh, disc only crash bash uh, Ridge racer Ridge racer And now let's see Spyro year of the dragon got the back, but not the case Jet moto and Tomb Raider Had some other ones some racing titles, but I didn't want to get them But a dollar can't beat that All right, 
You may be able to hear the old GameCube's got a rattle. That's no good. We are on the road, my friends. We are in Helena, Montana, this episode. And uh, I would have filmed right there, but that dude was watching me. So I'm in here for our little company dealio thing this evening. I'm staying the night and why not do some game hunting? That was my first stop was that pawn shop. Thank you, Terry, who gave me the tip last week and last episode to check the pawn shops here, not the thrift stores. I actually have checked the thrift stores here and uh, did not find anything ever the first three times. So I've got this bag of stuff. I paid 15 for it. Um, this just looked interesting. It's not worth anything, maybe eight to 10 bucks, but a freaking lacrosse game and like an arcade lacrosse game. But it seems like with commentary from fucking Scott Farrell. Hey everybody, gonna get her gun, Jones. You ever heard Scott Farrell on the uh, Howard Stern channel on Sirius back in the day? Oh my gosh. Look what we got here, Conduit 2 Limited Edition. Uh, no manual, but the disc is in there. According to price charting, the limited edition disc only is worth 15 Then we have a nice copy of Crash of the Titans, which is about $25 complete. GameStop, I think, gives like 15 credit or close to it. And disc only, Splinter Cell Blacklist, with GameStop still gives like $12 credit on. So we're going to make a little money off those. So bought some flips and basically keeping Conduit 2 maybe and definitely that lacrosse game. Cause why not? All right, I got to hit a couple more pawn shops before... Let's see, I'll be there in about an hour, hour and 10 minutes. And I'll have some time tomorrow too. So hopefully we get a fruitful, bountiful, wonderful haul. From Helena, Montana. All right, uh, Elias Smith and Jones Pawn Shop for five dollars. Oh yes, Tiger Woods 12: The Masters on Wii. Another nice find. Another nice flip possibility. Sweet. Jesus. I wish I could game hunt in Helena more often. Three thrift stores, or three pawn shops, three things found. Um, PS2 titles were four for ten. So I got win back to Project Poseidon. Got a ten dollar game. Game I didn't have. The Death by Degrees. Nina Williams, Tekken. Not worth much, but like I said, I didn't have it. I was looking for a fourth title. I got Spawn Armageddon, and you saw the quick clip from inside there. NCAA Football 11. Not complete, unfortunately. Just a disc. But about a $20 game right there that I got for $250. Picked up, uh, don't want to pay $7 for an Xbox 360 title, but this is Ninja Blade, a From Software game. Price charting had that as 18 complete. And I got a game for you guys. Gotta clean it up a bit. Breakthrough. We already have this in the $5 game box. But I could not pass it up, leave it on that shelf for three bucks. Clean that gunk off. It's in really good shape. And this is going our 300 sub contest loot box. So when the channel reaches 300 subs, I'm giving away some games. And we're going to go ahead and add that to the pile. A nice NES title. Sweet. So i got to go do my work thing. Uh, but the way Helen is working out, before I leave town tomorrow, I'm going to do some more game hunting. Holy crap. Can't believe some of the finds here today. Smoke-filled Helena, Montana. Goodness. My hotel room. Look at this thing. I could live here. This might be better than my apartment. <laughs> Need some space for video games. 
Anyway, I'm checking out of this room after my little trip to Helena. There's the cash we have left still. What, 50, 70, 90, 110, 123 and a quarter? Kitchen! God, if I had known I was going to have a full fridge, I would have brought some beer, you know, got a coffee pot, they give dishes, wine glasses, coffee mugs, sink, dishwasher. Hmm. I'm thinking this, like, <laughs> I could, I could, like, rent this room for, like, a pickup video one night. If I just want to, like, get out, do something different, get a room, go use a swimming pool in the hot tub. Anywho, um, here's day one of Helena video game hunting, and it's not bad. Like I said, we're going to give that away when we, reach, when we reach 300 subs. That's a nice little find right there. And I just looked. This game, Crash the Titans, Splinter Cell Blacklist, and The Masters. I can get like $44 credit today at GameStop. And I think all this combined, let's see, I think it's all 40 so the four PS2 games, the Ninja Blade and the Breakthrough came from one pawn shop. That was 20. The Masters came from another pawn shop. That was five. And these three games and this were 15. Yeah, so $40 spent um, so far. Uh, there's three other pawn shops in Helen I'm going to hit today. It's also a, a new Goodwill, a newer. They opened it like a year or two ago. I've never found anything in thrift stores in this town, but I'll try. Might as well since I'm here. And then uh, it's going to be a pretty fruitful trip. I'm going to have to remember this. So, like, when the garage sales end, uh, Bozeman's game hunting. I mean, we have thrift stores and pawn shops, but we don't get fines hardly ever like this. Like, I wish I had taken some footage. Maybe I'll get some today. The places I went had tons of games at really, really good prices. Really good prices. And I could, you know, if I was just stocking up on a bunch of games, I could have. But I was trying to get, you know, really good deals and, you know, games that were underpriced compared to, like, price charting or even GameStop trade-in. So that's why I kind of stuck with, you know, what we have right here. But my lord... If I want to stock up on really good PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, Wii titles, I found a ton of them. So hopefully I'll find some more today out at the pawn shops. But like, yeah, when we hit winter time, as long as the roads are good, because like I said, we're in Montana, and driving in January and February on the interstate sometimes isn't fun in Montana. But maybe a Butte road trip, a Helena road trip, you know, during those dog days of winter when there's no garage sales might be a good idea. Get some coffee. All right. We're going to go game hunting here in a bit. Here's what I'm doing. I'm running out here to the GameCube. I'm going to grab that Splinter Cell Blacklist, that Tiger Woods The Masters, and that Crash of the Titans, since once again I already own Crash of the Titans. And I'm going to try to get that Mario and Sonic, which is one of the rarer Wii U titles, and another title, which I didn't shoot yet and uh, I'm also going to try to use some power up reward credits that I got from stacking up multiple trade um, things so hopefully for really really cheap I'm going to get a couple of good games we just did some feel good game stopping <laughs> okay so Tiger Woods 12 we purchased for 5 $13.20 credit because I'm an Elite Pro member. Crash of the Titans purchased 
I believe it was two for ten on those 360 titles with the Splinter Cell Blacklist. Crash of the Titans, $18 credit. Splinter Cell Blacklist, $14.40. Total trade credit, $45.60. Then, I redeemed, because my birthday is tomorrow, they sent me a 20% off one pre-owned coupon. So I took 20% off of one of the pre-owned, I think it took it off, it took it off the Mario and Sonic game. And then I have a, a bunch of power-up reward credits saved up from uh, when I traded a ton of stuff when GameStop did a trade promo. Plus, you know, you get them when you purchase. So I did a $15 pre-owned certificate and a $25 pre-owned certificate. So for $12.79... Oh, excuse me, 78 cents. So, be able to see it. 12.78. So, $13 out of the $5 game box funding wallet, which you saw there was 120 something. You saw this. That is one of the uh, rarer games on the Wii U right there. Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. It's right up there with Hello Kitty Cruisers. You see their base price on it, $70, which is a little over a complete copy. I'm not sure it's complete because there's no manual, but it says to view the manual, go online, so maybe it didn't come with one. I didn't even check the disc. Um, Wii U titles are awesome. But yeah, so, I mean, just getting that for $13 is amazing. But we weren't done. We weren't done. Octopath Traveler for the Switch. There it is. $13 spent at GameStop for Octopath Traveler and Mario Sonic at the Rio Olympic Games. And I have a buy two get one free certificate, but I couldn't find a third game. I don't know how it would have matched up to, I mean, I guess, could I use the birthday coupon? I, I don't know. but. $12, $13. I forget the $0.22 cents change. Spent $13 on Mario Sonic the Rio games and Octopath Traveler for the $5 game box. Feel good game stopping. It is possible sometimes. And all we had to sacrifice was Tiger Woods the Masters 12 for Wii, Crash of the Titans for 360, which I already own. And Splinter Cell Blacklist for the 360, which I'm pretty sure I already own because it dropped down to like five dollars just a few months after it's released. The fact that GameStop is like given anything more than like a quarter for it in credit is amazing to me. But I noticed that because right now they're showing like that's one of their big primo prime. Hey, if you trade this in, you get a bonus. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to see if our luck continues at the thrift stores and the pawn shops here in Helena now before heading home. Yeah, we're still in Helena. Wow. Wow. Even the Helena and Butte Game Stops are, like, Boku's better than Bozeman's. Like, we found some good stuff in the past couple weeks at those Game Stops. So, whew, I think we need to do more road trips here on the channel. Awesome. For as good as their pawn shops have been, the Helena Montana Goodwill is worse than Bozeman's. One copy of Tac 2. I think it's the only game, like console game, in the whole place. But hey, a three CD set of Larry the Cable Guy for three dollars. <laughs> Can't beat that. Get right on that one. <laughs> All right, so Game Boxy ends this little thrift store right here in Helena, Montana. Good Samaritan Thrift Store Ministries. First, I thought they'd be closed on a Sunday, but they're open. And this store will always have a little place in my heart because it's where I found my best ever non-video gaming thrift store find. A brand new Roku 3, back when they were going for 100, I got it for 40. And I use my Roku pretty much for, it's how I watch TV. It's how I watch YouTube. It's how I watch sports. It's how I watch movies. It's been like my my go-to entertainment box it's not a video game system for the past two years or however long i had it so never found any video games here but maybe today we'll change our luck
PSP games. Nice. Couple flip possibilities. Rumble Roses. Here comes the pain. Let's see if I can get in here. All right, it came through. You saw the case. Uh, Eight dollars. This was a dollar because I had a dollar sticker on there. Even though they put a two one, they forgot to remove that one. So he gave it to me for a dollar. Unfortunately, they've marked this case up with something, but and no manual. But a dollar for Rumble Roses. Um, might go in our 300 sub contest eventually because I do own, I think, a complete copy. Uh, Smackdown, here comes the pain. Two dollars. Good price for that. Unfortunately. Also not complete. I better check that stack of manuals. I may have an extra one. But uh might be able to flip that because I do own it. And thank you, Gamers Manuel. I would not have known about this game had I not watched your videos. NBA 2K13 on PSP. Price Charting has a complete copy of this for $20 or as worth $20. And this is a nice complete copy for possible future flipping. Sweet, $8 spent on three pretty good games and a thrift store in Helena, Montana comes through. Another pawn shop in Helena. Another bag of stuff. PSP game, seven. SNES game, 12. PS3 game, seven. Wii game, four. PS2 game, 9, 39. Is it possible I'm running out of money and I'm going to have to sell stuff soon? I had like 120 something dollars. But my god. Uh, let's get to the car and uh, show off what's in this bag. Alright, we are in downtown Helena. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the smoke in this phone's camera, but just above the stoplight like halfway between where the red light is and the green sign for the street is the Helena Fire Tower, which is kind of famous. It's been there for, geez, when this town was tiny, was nothing. And it watched for fires approaching the little town so you can warn them. And here you have the Fire Tower Coffee House. So kind of see where the Fire Tower is kind of a big deal around here. Anyway, I didn't want to spend $39 at a pawn shop, but let's just get to it. Five games, uh, Capcom Fighting Evolution. This is probably the one game they had priced about right. Price charting has it going for a little over 9 and they had it priced at $9. But it is complete and in good shape. And I've never seen this out in the wild ever at any garage sale or thrift store or nothing. So that looked interesting to me, so I had to get a ton of games in there. If I wasn't the only person in there being watched like a hawk, I probably would have got some footage. But they had pretty much every, you know, system, you know, like common system. No 3DO or anything, but except like no PS1 games and no um, GameCube games. Uh, Wii, Valhalla Knights Elder Saga. Complete. An X Seed game had it priced for four. That's a good price on that. Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage for PS3. Also complete. They had that priced at seven. Also a good price for that. Our PSP title is Final Fantasy. The 20th anniversary Final Fantasy that is complete. Seven bucks. And our Super Nintendo title, priced at 12, Saturday Night Slam Masters. Awesome. Hopefully, the pawn shop label comes off without tearing the Super Nintendo label. Oh, they got it taped on there. I think it should be all right. And I can scrub Carmen's or Cummins. Oh, Cummins, I'll scrub his name off. So as far as I can tell, Helena's got five pawn shops. And I'm uh, four out of five with a fifth one yet to hit. Uh, there was a six, but it closed down. The guy retired and nobody took it over. 
So, uh, <laughs> I didn't think I have to get the selling mode so quick, but I'm seriously getting, I think I'm down to 60-ish dollars. I mean, I've had a lot less in the game box before, but we've really been buying over the past couple days while being in Helena. And I'm not complaining. We're gonna we're gonna get a whole episode of the five dollar game box out of this find. This stuff's amazing. All right, uh, let's keep going. One more pawn shop to go. Hopefully, I hit five for five. Son of a bitch. Close Sunday. Google's wrong. Said they're open to like six. Ah, oh, four for five ain't bad. That'd be a good day at a baseball game. But man. This leaves me wondering if there's any gems inside this little caged window right here. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to make do with what I got. When <laughs> I got some good stuff. One quick update before we do the pickup recap. $5 game box game goals. The funds just got released today for the receipt of the Donkey Kong Country 3. I sold on Makari. The funds I clear is $18. 51 12, 7, 82, 51 is our new online fun total to get one of our next game goals, Gun Knack or Radiant Silver Gun. Uh, the delivery for Zombies Ate My Neighbors should be tomorrow. So we should see that next episode. And that's going to be another 20 something dollars and should put us over 100. Great. All right, here's the deal. I'm setting up for the pickup recap and. We know we're running out of space in the $5 game boxes. Now we got the $5 game boxes and the $5, like, plastic drawers. I bought a new one of these storage things because my old one was breaking. But I salvaged the drawers from it, and I filled them up. First of all, we got one full of Xbox 360 games because we had a ton of these this summer. Then over here, we have our Xbox games, including the good stuff like Metal Slug, our big chunk of Xbox One titles, our one inbox Genesis title, our GameCube titles so far, our PS2 titles, including that nice Mega Man X, our Wii games, Mario Sports Mix, Mario Party 8 up here, our PS3 games, um, our one Dreamcast game, and then all the little cases for all those uh, Game Boy Advance games, and our one Wii U title. So, clearing some space in the $5 game boxes, we have Overflow. <laughs> it has been a very, very, very good year, game hunting, that all started about a year and a half ago. We're almost two years, two years this October, with one $5 bill. And look how far it's gotten us. We're going to put these like in a closet somewhere. And hopefully I can find some room somewhere. We may need our own $5 game shelf. Because we've got other stuff to put. We have over here in the corner. We got This is part of the $5 game box. This NES action set. My god. So maybe I should just like clear off put all these in drawers and then make this like the five dollar game shelf i don't know all right so pick up recap coming up welcome back game boxians it was my god right off the bat not focusing hello hey uh it was a great episode oh my god once again just like last episode these pickups just span a couple of days and we have got a ton of great stuff so uh grab a stella which is what is in here Drink it down, then grab another, because as I'm filming this, it is 6.58 on August the 20th, which uh, is my birthday. So uh, I'm going to have a couple of drinks, a couple of beverages, in my personalized Stella glass that they put my name on. I requested they put Esquire, because why not? And let's get to the pickup portion of this video. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, like, I completely, I don't know where I'm going to put the Atari 2600 titles. 
think I'm just going to merge my Atari 2600 collection and leave it at that. So anyway, as you can see, we cleared out some space in the game boxes so we can keep adding more stuff. We've got the two gold games we've acquired so far, Einhinder and Haunting Ground. They are up here. I'm thinking about buying a special little box to kind of keep those separate, you know, kind of focus on them. Move the beer. I think it's trying to focus on the beer. <laughs> and uh, let's see. We have um, other stuff. $5 game box funding wallet. We spent some money. We didn't sell a whole lot this episode. We spent some money, but we still have 20, 40, 55, 63, 25. 63 bucks still left in the funding wallet. We are still doing pretty good, but we are in a position that maybe we want to start thinking about finding some stuff to flip and resell. So, let's hit the garage sales, of which, uh, for an August Saturday, we didn't do a whole lot of garage sale. I mean, we did some garage sale, but we didn't find a whole lot. Um, yeah, it's kind of odd, all this finds from pawn shops and thrift stores, that usually comes in fall and winter, not middle of summer. But anyway, we have Dirt 3 as our first garage sale find, uh, complete, and it is the complete edition on Xbox 360. Uh, they had it marked at seven fifty. I bought it for seven. Uh, I think you heard the story earlier, and I'm expecting to have a garage sale this week with uh, Wii titles and maybe uh, regular Xbox stuff. So uh, that should be good, according to PriceTrading.com, which is accurate as of eight twenty seven oh one Mountain Daylight Time. <laughs> Ooh, this is worth twenty three dollars and forty nine cents, and we paid seven bucks. GameStop would give me $12 in trade if I want to go that route, which I don't. Sledstorm, which is complete, um, $4.99. We paid three, so we probably paid what it's worth, but it's in the old PS2 collection. And uh, the best garage sale find by far were these six PS1 titles that we paid a dollar total for. They were in a bin marked at a dollar, or no, marked at a, uh, 25 cents. And I picked out five. He's like, I'll just give me a dollar so I don't worry about the quarters. And he actually brought another one over. He brought the other Spyro. So it was going to be a dollar fifty. But anyway, uh, Tomb Raider. Second time we found that this summer, but this time it is complete. The greatest hits version, according to price charting, is worth nine ninety one. Jet Moto. Also complete, and by the way, these discs are in okay condition. They're not perfect, but I think they play. There's nothing deep or too troubling about them. Uh, Seven forty-seven, according to the price charting. There's Ridge Racer. I already did the Ridge Racer joke. Eight dollars nineteen cents, according to price charting. Fun game. I like those back on the PS One. Uh, Crash Bash, disc only. Um, let's see, $10.35, point of price charting. Then these two Spyro games. We have a Spyro Ripto's Rage, a $15.65 loose disc. Um, by the way, that's the greatest hits price, I'm assuming, because all the other titles are in greatest hits cases. They got this greatest hits, like when it went on sale. If it's the not greatest hits, which, I mean, I don't think you can tell, it's worth like fifteen ten. so there's not much difference. And then I'm going to assume this is the Greatest Hits because it's in a Greatest Hits backing for the title, the uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon, worth $14.64 loose. I didn't include it complete because it's not complete. So, wow. Uh, the Spyro games alone make that dollar whew, almost worth flipping one. But well, we'll see what we do with that because we're not in any need. I've got other stuff for sale on Macari, so we don't need to sell it online yet. All right. At this point, we took a road trip. I did a bad pour. Couldn't get the whole beer in here. There we go. So we did the road trip to Helena, Montana, which is the capital of Montana. You may be surprised it's the capital. You may have thought it was an M. See, uh, be here all week. So our first day of uh, Helena game hunting, we hit three pawn shops. As you already saw, we uh, sold some stuff from day one of Helena Game Hunting to acquire some stuff on day two of Helena Game Hunting. So we'll go over the stuff that we kept. Um, let's see, this was the haul from the first store 
that we went to. Uh, we'll start with Conduit 2, uh, limited edition on the Wii. I need to swap cases. This thing's in kind of a rough shape, and unfortunately it's not complete. But Conduit 2, according to price charting, the limited edition is worth fifteen sixty-eight. You know, it's not complete, obviously, but maybe that, I, I, I don't, that's the loose price, by the way. The loose. I didn't put the complete. So that's the loose value. Um, breakthrough. No, wait, that's from the last one. Sorry, breakthrough is from the, the, the last place. Uh, Blast Across was the second one we kept from the first place we went. That is complete, worth $9.95. All right. The second place we went is where we got that Tiger Woods, the Masters, which we've already flipped, so we don't have anything from the second place we went, but they did give me some Buku credit for that uh, Tiger Woods, and we only paid 5 Okay, so now we go to Breakthrough from the third pawn shop. Haven't cleaned it up yet, but this is going in our 300 sub contest um, collection, I guess. I should, like, show what we've put in there so far. And when we reach 300 subscribers on this channel, we're going to do a giveaway eligible to everybody who's a subscriber. So tell your friends, or if you haven't yourself, subscribe. Because there's some good stuff in there. And we're going to have a lot of stuff by the time we reach 300 subs. This was 3 bucks, and I'm not going to pass a, a good NES title for $3, even if it's one we already have. We had a couple others, like John Away Football and a Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. I got this. Uh, it's worth seven oh four according to price charting. We'll go ahead and toss it over there to put in the the thing, the collection. Once we reach 300 subs. So help us out. Ninja Blade. I believe Xbox 360 titles were 7 each and 2 for 12. I couldn't find another one. So I paid $7 for this. According to price charting, it's worth $18.73. So that's a really good find. Now the PS4 titles, I believe, were $4 each or... Are they $3 each or 4 for 10 So I had a couple in my hand and I decided to... I mean, they had enough of a selection. I didn't have any trouble finding four titles I definitely wanted and needed. We'll start with Winback. This is complete. So if you break it down, four for ten, that's two fifty each. And these are in okay shape. One or two of these may need a resurfacing. Uh, Windback is worth nine ninety nine. Death by Degrees. Uh, Tekken's Nina Williams in Death by Degrees. Oh, complete. I think this is one of the discs that could probably use a resurfacing. I'd probably play. I should load it up and test it. I've never actually played this game. Also worth $9.99 complete. Spawn Armageddon. I may have this on other systems. So not complete. Worth uh, $8.57. And uh, Ghana Wishes was complete. NCAA. NCAA Football 11. If you see Tebow on a PS2 case... You're going to want to pick that up. Uh, let's see. Disc is... Oh, fine. 1997. 1997. Whew! Four for $10 on those. Uh, that was a good... I, I, I couldn't dream of, a, of going rolling through pawn shops and having a day like the first day in Helena. Then I went out. I did the company thing. Went to a Helena Brewers baseball game. I bought the hat and uh, went home. I went home, went to the hotel, chilled, got up the next morning, had breakfast, checked out, said I'm going to go hit the other pawn shops in Helena, maybe some other places, and oh my God, am I glad I did. Um, first of all, the thrift store in Helena. Never had any luck. Never had any. I went to the Goodwill. It stunk. They had one copy of one game, and they blatantly told me they send everything to Shop Goodwill. Check Shop Goodwill. They're all up there. No, no thanks. I'm good. Um, and this other thrift store, it's a religious one. It's, it's Good Samaritan. It's affiliated with a church, I believe. Couldn't believe they were open on a Sunday, but I'm sure I'm glad they were, because when I found the video games, I almost gave up. I saw a PS4, MLB, like, 14. That will be the show 14 or 15. In, in a case, and no other games anywhere, and then I saw the case, and, uh, 
it had some games in it and some really good titles. Uh, Rumble Roses. All female race uh, wrestling. Face it, you've always wanted this. Always wanted this. Somebody drew a line through her ass. Uh, Rumble Roses, uh, not complete, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, kind of a fun little wrestling title by Konami from the PS2 days. Worth 10. That is a game I do own. I own this already. I think a complete version. <sighs> Doesn't really have any resale value. 300 sub box? 300 sub box. There you go. Uh, more wrestling. Smackdown, here comes the pain. I've heard some YouTubers who like would pick this up in a lot of PS2 titles and go, oh, fuck, a shovelware, and throw it like aside. Uh-huh. Uh, they, I, I, I've, I've told them in the comments, you need to keep an eye out for some of these titles. Smackdown, here comes the pains worth fifteen seventy three, even when it's not complete. And here's another one they would probably toss aside. I probably would have too, except if I wasn't a subscriber and, and viewer of Gamer's Manual, who is a great YouTuber. And if you haven't subbed to him, you most definitely should. He gets great finds, great footage, one of my favorite game hunting channels on YouTube by far. But NBA 2K13 is one of those sports games, if you see it on PSP, you, you, you just go ahead and pick it up. Especially when it's $2. It was $2, $2, uh, and a dollar. No, I paid 8 No, they had $5 on this. Sorry, so 5 2 and a dollar on the Rumble Roses. So $8 total spent. Um, I probably should have like scratched that thing up. They said, any games not marked or two, I should have, probably should have been like, but I gave them the $5. Uh, complete. It's in really good shape. And it's worth 20 bucks. Alright. Put that in our little PSP slot right there. Alright. So. I'm obviously saving that GameStop for last. But this haul from the. What was the final pawn shop we hit. We tried to hit one more but it was closed. Oh I could not believe the game selection. Like, right off the bat, I saw, I went in there, and like, right in the door, you see there's, like, some games on a shelf. You're like, great. And you start going through them, like, wow, they got a great selection. That is the one thing that surprised me about Helena. I'm so used to Bozeman. Any thrift store, pawn shop, really paltry selections that don't really change that often. It seems like a lot, a couple of the pawn shops, just the same shit every single time and it's no wonder why you ask them like are there's a price on it you ask them how much and they're asking like at or above ebay you know i hate like looking like you know, okay you want 15 dollars for that game and i look oh look i just buy it now for 12.50 like well what's the point of buying your shit if i can buy it for you know a couple bucks less and just have it shipped to my house here in a couple days <sighs> So anyway, and I got lucky. I was talking to Terry last week on that road trip to Butte, which you saw in last episode. He's walked into pawn shops in Helena, and he's talked to them to the point where they, they do list stuff on like Amazon and eBay, but they pull it out like, you know, we'll give it to you for this, and kind of, they're, they're smart. They know that to, I can sell it to a guy right here in my store, have money cash in hand right now, not worry about putting a listing, taking photos, shipping it, having the guy come back at me saying I didn't ship it or it's broken, and dealing with PayPal and all that. I'll have all the cash in my register today, or a, a credit card swiped in my store today. Terry pulled a color a dinosaur out of a pawn shop in Helena. If you don't know, Color of Dinosaur is one of the rare NES games. It's worth uh, close to 100 It's not fun. It's not a great game. It's just rare. And uh, he actually traded to one of those guys in Butte last week. And uh, so I, I, I was really looking forward to hitting the pawn shops in Helena. And I, I, it, they came through. So just once again, big thank you, Terry, Nutty Ninja, uh, Nostalgia Lane. Whew, I am so glad I checked. The pawn shops at your suggestion. So this pawn shop we paid a total of I have the receipt thirty nine dollars, and we will start with uh, this Capcom Fighting Evolution because this is the one game in the stack that we probably paid exactly what it was worth. We paid nine dollars, right? Yeah, nine bucks, 
and it's worth a 950 complete. But it is Legendary Fighters from five Capcom Arcade Classics finally meet. Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter Alpha, Darkstalkers, and Red Earth. So we've got a like a real humdinger of a title here. And that's really awesome. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Woo! All right. Another PSP game. I, there's a good selection of PSP titles in the Helena stores. Really good all around. I didn't go through them probably as thoroughly as I should in some of the stores. Especially that first day because I had somewhere to be. I was kind of in a time constraint. So I had to rush through and, and couldn't just really hang out and take my time. Like I did the second day. This store, I spent a lot of time. And I left a lot of stuff that I kind of wanted. I left some because I didn't want to spend all my money there. Um, in particular, I had a copy of BMX Triple X, which I've never owned. It's not worth anything. But I've always kind of wanted this. It's kind of one of those titles, kind of like the guy game, like... All right, I remember the era when they were like, oh, we're going to get the guys, we're going to put tits in the game. <laughs> hey, you guys like tits, don't you? You love titties. I'm like, yeah, we love tits. But now there's the internet, nobody puts tits in games. Unless they're like Japanese school children who are really 10,000 year old dragons. Which is horse shit. Anyway, Final Fantasy PSP is complete and uh, like that NBA game, real good shape. This is worth twelve ninety nine for the PSP game. We paid seven. All right, put that with our PSP games. Got three PSP games. Oh, another Wii title. This is one of the few Wii titles that I don't have in my Wii collection. You may have seen a little smidgen of some of my Wii games uh, back when I was doing the uh, back in, behind that door right there is in my bedroom, and that's where I had the. Uh, those plastic cases with the Xbox games and our PS2 and Xbox One titles. Um, most of the I've got most of everything I really want on the Wii. I don't have like all the rare, valuable ones, but I really don't. I'm not looking for a copy of Fritz Chess or Menza Academy. If I come across a copy of Fritz Chess or Menza Academy, I'm probably going to flip them. Uh, the only two titles I don't have that I kind of want are Mario Party 9 and uh, Fire Emblem. I think that's about it. This is another one of them. Uh, Valhalla Knights Elder Saga. Not worth a whole lot, but it's just one of those games. I may have even ordered it from GameStop once, like a 4 for 10 or 4 for 20, but it came disc only. I may, should look at my Wii games. I probably have it disc only. But this is complete in really good shape. We paid $4 for it. It is worth $12.39. Complete. Fist of the North Star Ken's Rage. Like the Wii, I've got a lot of stuff on PS3, and I don't know what else I'm really looking for as far as, like, if I see a PS3 title, like, oh, i got to have it. Uh, this would be one of them. Uh, PS3 game. I paid 7 for it. This is worth twenty seventy two complete. Boom. Finally, like I was telling you about this pawn shop, like, I'm going through the shelves. They have Xbox 360. Then, like, they actually had some, like, uh, Super Nintendo titles, Jungle Book, Lion King. There was a Kid Clown game, but it wasn't worth anything. They had it priced about right. Hindsight, I probably should have picked it up. Um, and then, like, then behind that, they had another shelf. That's where the Xbox and the PS2 titles were. And that's where I noticed, like, when I first walked in and looked at games and then went around to the other side of the shelf, I looked and there was a glass case. And that's where they had... Xbox One, PS4, and then like higher priced Wii. They had more NES games, Super Nintendo titles. And most of those they had priced around their value. Especially like the Xbox One, PS4 games. Um, and even the NES games. The NES games were priced, eh, that's, that's about what they were worth. Maybe even a little bit more. Some of the Super Nintendo titles are priced kind of eh. Except for this one. Saturday Night Slam Masters. As you can see, I got the sticker off the back just fine. I need to scrub it down to get cumins off. Uh, but they had this price to $12. Price charting has it valued at $20.03. I am so glad. So glad they mispriced this. Because I've kind of been wanting this. I've been wanting that title. And now it is ours. So we paid our yeah we paid thirty nine at that uh, pawn shop. And our total value of games is $75.63. 
drink to that. All right, and finally, this happened before this pawn shop, but we did good at a GameStop. We did real good at a GameStop. Went over it in the car outside in the parking lot, but we got $45.60 in trade value from three of the games we found on day one. And then I used a birthday promo because today's my birthday. Did I mention today's my birthday? Today's my birthday. 20% coupon off any one used game. Knock the price down a little bit. Then I'm like, I've got tons of power-up reward points. Tons of them. From trading in. From buying. From that big trade promo. I'm going to use as many as I can. Spend 2,000 of the points off a $25 off pre-owned. Boom. Spend another 10,000 points on a $15 off pre-owned. Boom. And we brought these two games, which should have come... I don't know if they have the total amount. Well, I've already taken the stickers off of them. This one was like 70. And this one was like 56. And then, of course, the 20%, because I'm an Elite Pro member. But we brought this down to 1278. We're going to call it 13. And we've got our second Nintendo Switch title in the $5 game box. It is Octopath Traveler, a game I've definitely been wanting. It was hard to find initially when it came out, but they got more print out. Like, people bought this thing. People were excited for some old school RPG on the Switch. For nothing but great things about this title, so I'm so happy to have it. Price charting has this valued at $47.27, which is probably what I would have paid if I just paid straight cash. GameStop gets $36 trade in it if I want to trade and triple my money that I paid, but I don't. And finally. This game would not sit in a Bozeman GameStop. That's another thing. From Butte last week to Helena this week. Finding some stuff in GameStop. Terry found something in the Butte GameStop last week. and may, He'll probably have it in a future video on Nostalgia Lane. This game I don't think would sit on a Bozeman GameStop shelf very long. Somebody would take their 10% or 20% and, and snatch it up. But lo and behold... Random Sunday morning. Here it is in a Helena uh, GameStop. It's a Mario Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. And uh, I don't know what it is about Butte GameStops and, and Helena GameStops, but their stickers came out no residue. This case is like I just took the cellophane off. Just absolutely perfect. Bozeman GameStop still using the thing you got to peel and it's leaving a residue and it's yucky and it's gross and it's disgusting. Wish they'd switch their fucking stock. But everything about this is great. It is probably outside of like uh, special editions, limited editions, the second uh, rarest, the second most valuable Wii U game right behind Hello Kitty Cruisers. Mario and Sonic, I don't know why. Did they just not mass produce it by the time... Maybe it was. By the time 2016 came around, the Wii U was dead. And they're like, we're not going to put a ton of Mario and Sonic because there aren't a lot of ton of Wii U systems and nobody's buying shit. So we're not going to put a ton of these out. Maybe that's what happened. Price charting has its value to $51.48, um, which is about what we would have paid if we just paid straight cash with the My Elite Pro. Like I said, six fifty basically a game. Between Octopath Traveler and Mario Sonic at the Rio games. Damn. It's been a good couple of weeks doing road trips. I'm seriously thinking, I don't know how old you, I've got the GameCube. That's a Nissan Cube. Doesn't exactly do good in winter weather. Not really built for winter roads. But, especially when we get in the dog days here. After garage sales end, and I'm hitting the same fucking thrift stores and pawn shops week in, week out in this little podunk town I'm in, it may behoove me to spend a little money, get a hotel in Butte or Helena or Billings some Saturday night, drive up, do some game hunting Saturday and Sunday, and that may be on the table. That may be in the cards. Once garage sale season winds down, and we're not hitting garage sales for, you know, four or five hours every Saturday. That does it for another... Look at this. Look at... Oh, my God. Money. Woo! Woo! I'm, I'm pumped. 
I'm really pumped. I'm going to finish my beer on my birthday. Thank you. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Like and subscribe if you wish. Give a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching the $5 Game Box. Thank you for watching the Juice Daddy channel. I will see you soon. Take care.